Hi everyone and welcome back to part 13 on how to make a Friday night flanking game in Roblox. In this tutorial, we're going to be adding a nice score counting GUI and maybe, just maybe, adding some other stuff. So in the past tutorial, I've showed you guys how to fix some bugs and some other stuff like that. What we're going to be doing now is inside of the main service script, uh, which is inside of the service script service. We will add a string value or a bool value, I mean a uh, int value. And we'll parent it to the player values folder. So local score is equal to instance.new and we're going to create an int value and we're going to parent it to player values. Now score dot name is equal to score and then what we're gonna do is score dot value is equal to zero now what we're gonna be doing is adding a dummy to the workspace by going to plugins um rig build and add an r6 dummy since i'm using r6 uh since my game is r6 and what we're gonna do is select the head by the way i pressed alt hold alt and select a part of the character we're going to select the head, we're going to add a surface GUI, and we'll add a, we'll rename it to score, display, and we'll add a text label to it. Oh, not a surface GUI, sorry. But we're going to add a billboard GUI, and we're going to rename it to score. So make sure always on top is, on che is uh, checked, and we're going to rename it to score, display, and we'll add a text label to it. And we'll set the text label text to zero and text scale to true. And I will go ahead and make the text white and set the background transparency of the text label to one. And then what I'm going to be doing is changing the font to Ferdoka one, which is a pretty good font. And I will also change the position. So the position should be something like one. I mean, how big is this? So it's that big. So we're going to change the size of the text label to 1, 0, 1, 0. And we'll change the text, the size of this to 1, 0, 1, 0. And then we'll maybe change the size, make it even bigger. Maybe like 5, 0, 5, 0. And then... Uh, I will position the, I will posi position this, or maybe scale it down. So I'll change it to 0.5, and that looks pretty good. Now we're gonna change the maximum display. So you wanna select this, and there is something called max something, uh, max distance. So we're gonna change that to 10, so that whenever we are too far away, it won't display. But I definitely want that to be like something like 20. So that we can actually see it and once we're done make sure that the this is renamed to score display and the text label is renamed to display label now we're going to parent this into service storage and in the main service script we will do local alf score display is equal to and game dot server storage dot uh score display clone clone now what we're gonna be doing is score display dot parent is equal to character dot head and after doing that what we're gonna be doing is make sure that it's disabled so score display dot enabled is equal to false and i'm pretty sure that's a property yes uh when they will start the game what we're gonna be doing is yes we're gonna add a remote event to the remotes folder and rename it to start start and inside of our main client script what we're gonna do is Mm, yes, yeah, so we're gonna fire the mode event again. Dot replicate source dot start. 
local remotes uh, dot start con fire server and they're gonna send the player and we'll also send the state stadium instead of the player we're gonna send the stadium now what we're gonna be doing is in our main server script we're gonna do game dot replicated source dot remotes dot uh start dot on server and connect function plr comma stadium and now what we're gonna be doing is local the lr1 is equal to um stadium on find first child uh first mic confined first child occupant the value and let's make sure that we spelled everything correctly so the stadium there is something called first mic and inside of it there is this occupant value and instead of this we're going to do game dot players con find first child and we're gonna put all of this and that should be working now we're gonna copy this line of code and paste it here and local PR, plr2 this time and we'll get the second mic instead and the occupant of value so if plr1 and plr2 then i mean if plr1 and plr2 Or we're gonna check if it's not equal to nil and this is not equal to nil uh we're gonna do else uh return and else if uh there is the players what we're gonna be doing is local or plr1 dot character dot head uh dot head dot score display uh, enabled is equal to true and we will copy this line of code paste it here and we'll change this to plr2 now if you go ahead and test again with two players we'll see how it looks so we join the game we're going to make sure we are muted and we'll see how it looks so we're gonna make sure I'm muted so I don't get copyrighted as always and I'll do the same thing here play the game and see how this looks so I'm going here and when we start the game it should enable both of those yes as you can see they are enabled and it displays the score now what we're going to be doing is making it so that it actually displays the score and what we're going to be doing is adding a hmm. so instead of having this vol value thing we're going to remove this and this and instead of that in, in here i mean in here we will In each of each one of these, we're gonna do else, and we'll add a remote event inside of the remotes folder, and we're gonna rename this to add score, and we're gonna do game dot storage dot. I mean, before the else, we're gonna fire the remote event. So game dot storage. Uh, maybe we're gonna put that here. Yes, game dot replicated storage dot add score. I mean dot remotes dot add score con fire server, and we're gonna send the player as always. And then, I mean else we're gonna add another mode event called remove score, and we'll do game dot replicated storage dot remotes dot remove score con fire server and we're gonna send the blur now we'll do the same process again so in here we'll fire this remote event else we're gonna follow the other one so remove score and we'll do the same thing here 
Make sure to spell everything correctly. So if it's that, we're going to paste that in. Else. We will do remove score. And we're going to do the same thing again. And again, else, and we'll remove the score. Now we are done with that. What we're going to be doing is inside of the server script, we're going to do game, dot get storage, dot remote, dot add score, dot on server event, call connect function, and we're going to get the PLR. What we're going to be doing is the LR dot player values dot no i think it was called something like uh score value plus equal to something like five and we're gonna see this is actually good yes it is so we're gonna change this to maybe like add 10 score every time and in here we're gonna do the same thing here again. Dot we get a storage dot remote dot remove score this time dot on server event call connect function. As always, we're gonna get the player. And we're gonna copy this line of code, paste it here, but instead of minus equal, we're gonna change this to minus uh, to minus equal instead of plus equal. Now what we're gonna have to do is add a while loop over here, or actually Yeah, we're gonna do while wait. Actually, actually, we're not gonna do that. That's kind of dumb. Uh, what we should do is local character is equal to plr dot character or nil, and then if character is not equal to nil, then what we're gonna be doing is plr dot character dot head dot score display dot text dot uh display text dot text is equal to and pr dot player values dot score thing dot value and we're gonna do the same thing here we're gonna do the same thing here i mean and that should be working Make sure you spell everything correctly, and let's go ahead and test the game. So if we're on the game, it should work perfectly. Hopefully. So, I'm going to play the game here, play it there, and make sure I am muted. Do the same thing here. Now go to the other window here and i will do the same thing here and hopefully this will work as intended so it kind of works uh it actually doesn't work <laughs> okay okay so that's not a problem though since we'll try to figure it out so score display is not a valid member of workspace dot yeah, head. That's pretty simple to fix. And all we have to do is actually spell this correctly because I spelled it wrong. So this time it's going to work, hopefully. I'll be back when this is fully loaded. So I'm going to stop the video for now. Okay, guys, so it's fully loaded and I'm going here. Oh, oh, I forgot to mute. And we'll see how it does. So I'm going to mute on the other side. And see how it looks. So I'm going here. And then I'm going to go here. And hopefully this time it's going to work. But I'm kind of bad on my own game. So I can't really see if it works. And it does not work. And display text. Display text. Oh, why am I so bad at spelling? I'll be back when I fix this too. It's just that I spelled this wrong again. 
And I'll be back when, uh, when everything is loaded. Okay, so everything is working right now. So I'm going to go here, waiting for another player. We'll join here and see if this works. So it should teleport me and say it started. And this time it does work, as you can see. Minus 10, it says minus 10, which is exactly what we want. And Yeah, I am really bad at this, but as you can see, it does work. So here you go. We have a working score GY, and what I forgot to do is make sure that we end that we remove that when the player leaves the game. So instead of our leave, uh. Thing. We're gonna disable the so player dot character dot head dot uh, score display gy dot enabled is equal to false and yeah this is going to be it for today's tutorial if this helped make sure to subscribe like the video share it with your friends and I will see you all in the next video bye.